Welcome everybody. Have you ever been on a helicopter? If so, you, you have seen the technology of a bevel, bevel gear. A bevel gear is a gear that connects together on an angle, as you can see here. Today's tutorial will be on how to model a bevel gear. I made a model already. And we will be doing this today. We'll be modeling the, the parts and assemble them together. The bevel gear has an involute curve that allows the teeth to f flow smoothly. As you can see here, I'll show you the back as well. There you go. And we'll close it off. So we'll get started right now. I'll make a new file, give it a name. And we'll turn on the planes and we'll get started. The first thing to do, we need to uh, decide what, what kind of gear we want to, to make. We've got to decide how many teeth there are and the pitch circle, how how, what's the the diameter pitch of the the gear? I've written my notes down here. So to to calculate the gear uh, dimensions, we gotta use the formula. There's a set formula to to calculate to find out the information we need. So you can look at the documentation in my, in the description. I'll, I'll put a link to the Boston Boston manual that has a very good documentation on on calculating the gear. But um, today I'm going to decide to make a gear of 22 teeth and the diametrical pitch of 40. So we calculate the the first thing to do is calculate the diametrical pitch. That is basically uh, the the number of teeth you you decided over the pitch diameter. The pitch diameter is the the the, the diameter that will um, connect with the key tangent. So so we we we'll put twenty two over forty, and that will give us p p is point oh five, and we'll calculate the diameters of all the other parts later on. But basically, the pitch diameter, this is different to di diametrical pitch, and the pitch diameter is 40. So we can just quickly, when we, once we know the pitch diameter, we can start drawing up some elements of the gear. So go to sketch, click on the front plane. And because the, we could also figure out the pitch angle as well, because I'm making a, a gear that will be on a 45 angle. I, I don't want to make the gear for the, the two gears. There's the gear and the pinion. And I'll make that the same size just to keep it simple. You can make it different and that angle will be different. The p pitch angle is right here. So the pitch angle will be the the number of gear for one 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 gear over the number of gear for the pinion. So actually the pinion over the gear and that will give you the pitch angle. But today um, the our, our gear will be at a 45. So first thing to do is just to create a center line on a 45. Okay, we'll place that line there. Make sure it's not constrained. I'll just draw that one again. And we just want to make sure this is on a 45 and on a 45 here as well. Now just draw a square. And make sure it's a square. That that was a mistake. So double check, always double check your work. And we want to set this at 40. So this diagram will basically will the gear will, will give us a, a guide to where to put the gear. So from here to here is 40, that's one gear, and the the pinion will be over here. So they're both 40.
and now we need to also draw a a guideline or center line as well and we want to draw this parallel to the previous center line we draw one here make sure that it's parallel you can tell by the constraint that this one's perpendicular to this line and that will be fine so you have something like that now we're gonna start putting in in the addendum and the addendum of the teeth part so we just draw a quick line here and draw another line this way and now we need to go ahead and calculate the addendum and dedendum so to calculate the, the, the addendum just refer to the formula here addendum equals 1 over p p is the diametrical pitch which is, which is 0.55 we get 1.81 1 1.818 and we've got to also calculate the dedendum as well dedendum you need to calculate the hold depth and that is basically just 2.188 just a specified number over the p and also plus 0 0.002 so work that out and we'll get the whole depth and with that we can use that to calculate the that should be wrong should be h there that will allow us to calculate the dedendum so it will be a 3.98 minus 0.1818 so that was the addendum so that will give us 2.162 so my addendum is 1.818 my addendum is here we're gonna click on the line here and give it a uh, number I'll just do that afterwards so click on the line click the middle mouse button and we can set the dimension the addendum is 2.162 2.162 make sure it's right and the addendum is 1.818 1 1.818 and that's good and we just also need to go ahead and draw a line across and also draw a line here as well and just for a safety measure we've got to give a little clearance here as well this is it's not that important but um, the gear needs a, a little clearance so the teeth don't don't uh, connect to one another let's draw a line there all right that's fine now we just gotta also draw um, Draw line completing this bottom bit, or oh, not that arc. Use a line tool, and with these we, we can use this as guide to, for us to create the profile. So create something like that. We can just we close the the square off on the bottom, so it's easy to remember. So I just basically draw a diamond on the bottom and a square here and add the addendum dedendum okay so the next step is we just need to draw the profile of the basics of our gear to do that we can just need to evolve we will um, we'll do a sketch we'll define that click on the plane click sketch and from here what you need to do is use project tool oh, actually I won't use that tool project in the addendum the addendum and the clearance and also the diagonal line here and here we just draw a line constraining to that okay that, that doesn't let you snap you can use reference here click on the line to to allow us to use the, the lines for from another sketch for reference just draw a line here now the 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 face width of the teeth 
to to find this it's by actually I've, I've just found on the internet that it's a third of the radius so our, our pitch circle is 40 and our radius is 20 we divide that by 3 and that will give us 6.67 and then we can go ahead and draw draw this line here this line is parallel to this line and we want it to go past the addendum and the addendum so it doesn't obstruct with the teeth so just a bit lower click and draw a line horizontal to the face and we also do, do something very similar to here as well just be aware of where the teeth are they stop at the clearance and now we draw a line across and down and just you can decide how how big the the um, the shaft and I'll just delete this line here actually I'll just use delete segment to remove that and click OK doesn't doesn't seem to be closed so um, I'll just close that off by drawing a line there so I accept that and I'll just pick an axis okay just pick the Z here and we have a revolve around okay I'll just stop here for part one have a look on the part 2 for the next part in the video. So I'll see you there.